Good morning, this is Dan Swede with Trash Bin Cleaners Direct. Here is a few titanium trailers we're building simultaneously right now. These are all going to different customers around the country. These have the largest hot water power washers in the industry. A lot of them have front doors on the white trailer, soft wash chemical spraying system, High pressure hose reel with 200 foot of high pressure hose, 100 foot of inlet hose, and then with 200 foot of chemical hose, chemical system, winterizing tanks, air blowout and antifreeze, 3,500 PSI 9 gallon hot water machine, 14,000 pound rated tandem after trailer with Dexter axle and four wall electric brakes. 8,000 pound rated retractable hose reel, 10,000 pound rated stainless steel ball valves. We can actually tie the two tanks together. We actually have a wastewater tank that's sealed. We don't use the hoppers. It's ridiculous. Freaking morons out there that are building trash bin cleaning trucks and trailers where they're using these hoppers to haul wastewater in. It's an $8,000 fine DOT for not securing your cargo up, down, in, and out. So what we do is we pump it out continuously. Nothing larger than the diameter of a huge human here actually gets into the trash bin hopper. So we have a heavy, a great solid separation. Uh, it takes no tools to be able to dump um, that garbage out of there. Matter of fact, it takes less than a minute to empty the whole hopper. Um, you have a full blown out wastewater Recycling and filtration system on these. Um, spare tire, 50 foot of chemical hose for our sanitizer. Two chemical spraying systems on this. We can also get you high volume downstream injector, making it three different ways to apply chemicals with this unit here. So we have the wastewater filtration system that's pulling the wastewater from the hopper through to the top of the vacuum recovery system through these filters, through another five micron filter into its own wastewater holding tank up here at the top, left-hand side. Then we have the triple blue filters here. Though they're a wastewater recycling unit, so they're separate circuits, separate pump for that. So when you need the extra water, we run it through the additional very high-tech filters. Give you an idea right off the bat, if you set $2 a day aside is all it's going to cost you to be able to replace all these filters because they last six months. So cost effectiveness is astronomical. Give you an idea of the differences if you're running and driving down the road illegally, eventually you're ultimately going to get shut down due to illegal transportation of waste water uh, in the hopper. All cargo, including tap water, or what we are dealing with is liquid industrial byproduct. Uh, if it's unfiltered, we don't have that problem Our wastewater. It has been approved for normal sanitary sewer drain discharge. So sewer drain or sanitary sewer explanation on that is a when you flush a toilet in a building or home and it goes through the out to the street and through the street sewer system. Um, that's sanitary sewer. Don't get that confused with the storm drain. The storm drain will be plainly marked. Uh, Rainwater only, a picture of a fish or a manatee or alligator, depends on what part of the country you're in. And that you definitely do not want to dump any wastewater into. But there's more sanitary sewer system because that's normally tapped into every house and business that is not on a septic system. So you can see Everybody's also going for the triple stack reels on this or these orders here. That's to add chemical soft washing. Even part-time, you can make another extra $70,000 a year doing that as an added feature. Then our power washer, since we're running the biggest hot water pressure washers in the industry, 3,509. You can literally clean, I'll send you the video where we did a 1,500 square foot Right now, like $350 driveway in seven minutes flat using a 48-inch wide high-speed surface cleaner. So 
you pull up the house, you're doing their trash bins, you know, the driveway mold and mildew and you need, you offer to clean them. Uh, they take the job, you end up popping this out of your, your truck or trailer, put it on the ground. It has dual spray bars on here. All of our 36 inch, this is a 48 inch and um, we even have a 60 inch surface cleaner. Uh, this will clean a four foot sidewalk in one pass or a 12 foot driveway or nine foot driveway in like three passes up and down the driveway. But we literally did a 1500 square foot driveway in seven minutes. It kind of broke the internet when I posted that to the power wash forums. Uh, we also have some bigger truck mounts and diamond trailer, which are a bigger class uh, trailer. But like I said, most people are finding out that once they're forced to uh, dump their wastewater or if they want to just have a legitimate business and they don't have wastewater filtration or recycling, the average dump fee has been $120 to $150. And in California, as high as $300. I just heard the uh, other day I contacted uh, the public works water and sewer with uh, $0.75 cents a gallon. So that's like $300 per dump. That'll bankrupt the company. It's easier to recycle, reuse. We actually burn off the wastewater as steam. So different category, different class. You can Mickey Mouse it just like you can go out and buy a 20 inch push mower and a weed whacker from Home Depot. And now you think you're a landscaper. Yeah, you're mowing grass, but you're not making much money doing it. Same thing when it comes to not having the proper equipment to do your trash bin cleaning. Uh, why have to stop every hour to go dump your wastewater? Uh, why pay that kind of astronomical amount of money and lose your, your huge amount of profit? Uh, so here's the information here to get a hold of us. Oh, sorry. Uh, that sucked. Okay. So trash bin cleaners direct, we're also known as pressure cleaners direct. Primarily we're focusing on trash bin cleaning systems. Largest manufacturing facility in the world. You can reach us at 877-699-0755. Trash bin cleaners direct.com. This is the diamond truck, by the way. Titanium trailers. That one's gonna have a front and a roof. Complete winterized package. This one, standard. This one, just front doors. It's going down to Texas. And uh, Diamond Truck actually is available right now. This one's ready to go. So anybody want to cash and carry and drive out of here this week with one, we can accommodate you. If not, we're uh, anywhere from four to six weeks out when it comes to a fresh build. Once again, give us a call. Um, I've been manufacturing these. As you can tell by the quality and construction, we actually have doors on our trailers. This one's got six. You know, my competitors, not one of them have a, even a single door. What kind of Mickey Mouse operations are out there that they can't even figure out how to get, give you access to service and, and work on your equipment or have a technician in there? So, hate to bash them, but come on, you know, that is pathetic. So, love to hear from you. We've got guys making... Give me a quick example, $35 for two bins. That's like a 12 month contract of large communities. Um, and at that point, that's $17.50 per trash bin. These units will do your first time cleaning, though they're always gonna take you the longest. We can do 40 first time cleanings an hour. Even on your first time cleaning where you kind of eat a little bit of the margin, we're making $700 an hour. Do the math, 1750 times 40 trash bins an hour, that's 700 an hour. Guess what, when you come back the following month then and do it again, you're doing like 60 of those. I mean, it's crazy to say, but you're gonna be really leaning to a 900 plus dollars an hour in our industry. It's one of the best kept secrets. Um, we have clients with over 20,000 residential customers. I got guys and girls working at uh, waste companies doing tens of thousands of trash bins a year. Um, even at 10 bucks a, a trash bin, you're making 400, 500 bucks an hour doing 40 to 50 of those an hour. Um, 
We've had guys do 525 in a single day. That's $5,250 with pretty much like a two-man person crew. All right, once again, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon on April 15th, 2024.